strongly supporting their own freedom. And to remember that in the past, those who foolishly sought power by riding the back of the tiger ended up in the To those people in the huts and villages of half the globe, struggling to break the bonds of mass misery, we pledge our best efforts to help them help themselves. For whatever period is required, not because the communists may be doing it, not because we need their votes, but because it is right. If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. To our sister republic, south of our border, we offer a special pledge to convert our good words into good deeds. In a new alliance for Congress, to assist free men and free government in casting off the chains of poverty. But this peaceful revolution of hope cannot become the prey of hostile powers. Let all our neighbors know that we shall join with them to oppose aggression or subversion anywhere in the Americas. And let every other power know that this hemisphere is yet to remain the master of its own house. Oh my God! To that World Assembly of Sovereign oh States, the United Nations, oh my God, our last best hope in an age where the instruments of war Really? I think it's all about the World Trade Center. We renew our pledge of support. Oh my God! To prevent it from becoming merely a war for to strengthen its shields of the new and the weak, and to enlarge the area oh my in God, which its risk may saw run. It Finally, to those oh nations who would make themselves our adversary, we offer not a Babe, pledge, are you there? but a request that both sides yeah, the world begin a new quest for peace. Before the dark powers of destruction unleashed by science, engulf all the humanity yeah. in plans or accidental yeah. self-destruction. We dare not tempt them with weakness. For only when our arms are sufficient beyond doubt can we be certain beyond doubt that they will never be employed. But neither can two great and powerful groups of nations you understand why they don't get, like, take play comfort Jeff, but... from our present course. Both sides overburdened by the cost of modern weapons, both brightly alarmed by the steady spread of the deadly atom, yet both racing to alter that uncertain balance of terror that saves the hand of mankind's final war. So let us begin anew. Remembering on both sides that civility is not a sign of weakness and sincerity is always subject to truth. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Let both sides explore what problems unite us. Instead of belaboring those problems which divide us, let both sides for the first time formulate serious and precise proposals for the inspection and control of arms and bring the absolute power to destroy other nations under the absolute control of all nations. Let both sides seek to invoke the wonders of science instead of its terrors. Together, let us explore the stars, conquer the desert, 
eradicate disease, tap the ocean depth, and encourage the arts and commerce. Let both sides unite to heed in all corners of the earth the command of Isaiah to undo the heavy burden and let the oppressed go free. And if a deep head of cooperation may push back the jungle of suspicion, then both sides join in creating a new endeavor. Not a new balance of power, but a new world of law, yeah, yeah, where the strong are just, and the weak secure, and the peace preserved. All this will not be finished in the first 100 days. Nor will it be finished in the first 1,000 days. Nor in the life of this administration. Nor even perhaps in our lifetime on this planet. But let us begin. In your hands, my fellow citizens, more than mine, will rest the final success or failure of our court. Since this country was founded, each generation of Americans has been summoned to give testimony to its national loyalty. The graves of young Americans who answered the call to service around the globe. Now the trumpet summons us again. Now as they call to air arms, the arms we need. Not as a call to battle, though in battle we are, but a call to bear the burden of a long twilight struggle, year in, year out. against the common enemies of man, tyranny, poverty, disease, and war itself. Can we forge against the enemy a grand and global alliance, north and south, east and west, that can assure a more fruitful life for all mankind? Will you join in that historic effort? In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. Finally, whether you are citizens of America or citizens of the world, ask of us here the same high standards of strength and sacrifice which we ask of you. With a good conscience, our only sure reward People are jumping with now history, they're... the final judge of our team, let us go forth. Oh,